How can I better understand live cell action and response using high content imaging? There is a desire to increase knowledge of not only the end response of a cell population, but also how the cells reach that phenotype. Live cell high content analysis can facilitate an understanding of the mechanism of action of a cellular process. When performing live cell analysis, consider the following. Phototoxicity, Fluorescent stains and their required excitation wavelengths are typically detrimental to cell health. What to do? For reduced phototoxicity, consider using platforms capable of detecting fluorescent proteins such as GFP or RFP. Dyes that have excitation capabilities at 740 nanometers and above are also recommended. Fluorescent proteins and higher excitation wavelengths tend to be less damaging to cells over long periods than wavelengths in the UV range. Cell tracking. The more images you acquire between time points, the easier it is to track cells from beginning to end. A best practice is to balance the frequency of imaging, which can lead to phototoxicity, with cell motility. Highly modal cells can lead to less accurate tracking between time points. Environment. Having realistic expectations is key. HCA systems are not tissue culture incubators. They are designed to keep a stable environment for the length of an assay. Humidity, CO2, and temperature control are the basics. Consider evenness of heating and evaporation, edge effects, and plate types when doing live cell HCA assays. Measurements. HCA systems should be capable of turning all your fixed endpoint measurements into multi-time point measurements. In addition, the best systems calculate motility and kinetic rate measurements without any rescanning. Let the system do the work for you in gathering this rich and informative data.